What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. If you don't know who I am or you're new to this channel, my name is Nasser. I'm a second year medical student at King's College London and this is my desk setup. I've been studying for the last one and a half years or so while attending King's College London. It's also where I edit all of my YouTube videos, do all my social entertainment, etc, etc. So as a student, and especially as a medical student, of course, I spend a lot of time studying at this desk. I want my desk to always be neat. I want it to be clean. I want everything that I need to be easily within reach. So there's no friction between me wanting to study or wanting to edit and having to get there. So first things first, let's talk about the desk. The desk is massive. It's from Ikea. I believe it's called the Skarska, Skarsta, something like that. And that was very important for me because I wanted to be able to spread out all my books and my papers and my laptop and everything like that without having to feel worried or crammed about space. And although my desk is absolutely clean and minimal 99% of the time, when the space is needed, it's always there. So another cool thing about this desk is that it can change between standing and seating positions. So in this position, it's like perfectly level for me to just sit down and type from my chair. But I can also just through a crank, raise the desk up to a level where it's good enough for me to be standing and also working at the same time. Especially for those really long study sessions, the ability to move between sitting and standing while studying just helps relieve my back and makes me more comfortable over that period of time. Now before we get into the actual meat of the desk, I think we should start off with a little bit of the peripherals, what's surrounding it. Probably the first thing that you notice when you walk into my room and look at my desk is this large, almost anatomically accurate drawing of the human body. I have the bones on one half and the muscles on the other. Yes, I drew it myself and yes, it took a very, very long time. I did it sort of as a creative experiment in my free time back in first year. So another thing that I have is this whiteboard over here. You'll notice that I don't use it too often and it currently just serves as branding for my YouTube channel. I'm definitely not using it as much as I thought I would. I've also got this fantastic desk lamp. It's really useful because it doesn't take up any actual space on the desk. It sort of clamps on by the side and that way I still have the functionality of extra lighting and that lamp without using up any surface space. Lamps, in my opinion, are one of the most essential parts of a desk. You want to make sure you have good lighting. There's nothing worse than straining your eyes while trying to write notes or look at your papers or just staring at your computer. Now for the decorative items on my desk, I don't want to have too many things there. I don't want it to be cluttered, but at the same time, I wanted to have a couple of items just to create some contrast between that flat white desk. So what I've got on the far left there is my 1000 subscriber celebration M&M jar. No one's actually guessed the correct amount of M&Ms that are in that jar. So if you guys want to leave a guess in the comment section down below, if anyone gets it right, I'll send you a postcard or something. And then next to that, there's that classic green plant that I just couldn't refuse buying when I was at Ikea shopping for all of the different furniture in my room and then to the right of that we have the small orange dot now on the right side of my desk I've got this lovely plank of wood which I think contrasts beautifully with the white desk by the way now that little plank of wood serves to hold everything that as soon as I enter my room I take out of my pockets and I put on my desk and the great thing about that is that every single time I leave the house I don't spend any time looking for my keys my wallet my phone my earphones anything because I know they're gonna be in that one place and if you're wondering about my keys they're hung up right next to my door so there's no chance I'll miss them. Now the whole desk revolves around my 13 inch MacBook Pro. This thing is an absolute beast. I've been a PC person my whole life but after I got this I just have not looked back. It hasn't frozen or even lagged once since the day that I bought it. It cuts through editing footage in Final Cut Pro so it's great for my editing needs. In fact without this laptop I don't think this YouTube channel would have been possible. I've got a bunch of stickers on it mostly just for personalization to make it look a bit more unique. When I was choosing the stickers I made sure that they were absolutely random because I don't want anyone to look at my laptop and start assuming things about me. Each one of those stickers has a personal meaning to me, but to someone just looking at them, they just look like a bunch of random stickers. The second big electronic on my desk is the iPad Pro 2018. This iPad here is my pen and paper, all my colored pencils, my highlighters, my notebook, my textbooks, my flashcards. If it's related to my university life, then you're gonna find it on here. Now moving on to the keyboard and trackpad, this is a very important part of my desk setup. Like I mentioned before, as a student and as a medical student, I spend many, many hours studying at my desk. And before I got that keyboard and trackpad, I was always in this hunched over position with my shoulders up by my ears, causing me a lot of neck pain and just discomfort while studying. 
This keyboard and trackpad allows me to sit back in my chair, have my shoulders nice and relaxed, and just type in a very comfortable position. I've also got this small white thing that elevates my laptop up above the desk so that the screen is closer to my natural eye level. Those few things together have probably had the biggest impact on my health in recent times. I would highly recommend them if you're experiencing any neck pain or shoulder pain when studying for extended periods of time. Underneath the desk and to my left, I have this neat little hook for my headphones. It gives them a permanent place to stay where they're hidden from dust and they're always easily within reach for me to put on when sitting at my desk. The chair that I use is also from Ikea. I mostly bought it honestly because it matched the desk and the drawers in my room. It has an adjustable back and an adjustable seat, which is absolutely necessary in my opinion if you're studying for long periods of time. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world and there isn't too much to say about it. I'd give it about a 7 out of 10 if I was going to have to give it a rating. And then to the right of my desk, the last thing that I have is this massive chest of drawers. I think it's called the Alex drawers from Ikea. It's so useful because it just has so many compartments. It makes it much easier to organize all of my things. Now within each drawer, it's not very neat. It's not very organized. But that sort of happens over time when I'm constantly opening and closing them. I organize the drawers in terms of frequency of use. So the top drawer has items that I would use the most. Then the second drawer has items I would use after that. And then down to the bottom where items that I would usually use about once a week. And then lastly, I keep all the cables hidden underneath my desk shoved off to the right so they can be seen easily when you're in my room. Lastly, I just have that one USB-C cable behind my desk that I can pull out and stretch if I need to charge my laptop or my iPad or my headphones. All right, guys, and that is it for my desk setup. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. And that's it. I'll see you next time. Peace.